A place called Minneapolis, Minishota. Say it with me now. Minishota. Ah ho. Not bad. Or, as they say now, Minnesota. <laughs> Fun fact they don't bag your groceries for you in Minnesota. No. <laughs> How did you live? But there's a housing crisis, and it's so funny because I had no frame of reference. I grew up, I was born and raised there my whole entire life. I never left Minneapolis. I never lived St. Paul. Uh, they're pretty much the same city to me, but don't tell people in Minneapolis that. Uh, I came here to Arizona, and I realized why I've been living in poverty my whole life! Oh my god! I pay like half of what I was paying before for twice the space. Math. U of A, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, I'm 32 years old. Yeah! It's funny because I'm not old, but I'm at that age where when somebody who's 25 says, oh, I feel so old, I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I just feel like I've lived so much. Uh, but it's funny because I, at, at my age, I'm at the cusp of, of technology, you know? I don't know how I lived before I got the people's, the, I mean, the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in my pocket. And, uh, you know, everywhere that I go now, I know exactly where I'm supposed to be because everybody that has similar interests to me, according to the phone that's in my pocket, has told me, you're going to love this place, man. And so... <laughs> but it's my joy and it's my pain, right? I think a lot of people feel that way, at least people that I always talk to. They're like, oh man, like, you know... We've all got them on the table right now. That's what you do at dinner. That's what you do at lunch. And I'm not necessarily criticizing it because I do that shit and I love my phone. I love it so very much. I take good care of it. I buy it a special case so that it never leaves me. I clean the case too because, you know, gross. Y'all like cleaning your phones too. Yeah. I'm judging you. Anyways. I wrote this poem. It's called 1999. Also, because I am from the land of snow and purple rain. I'm Indian, all right? We look up, down, left, right, forward, back. Glowing screens illuminate pale minds, watching with impatience as the war is fought. The revolution will not be televised because I don't watch TV. No, the revolution will be streamed in HD for $9.99 a month. It will be tweeted and blogged until it is devoid of meaning. Little boys and girls will be murdered on YouTube and your Facebook will be catered to look like you actually give a shit. BuzzFeed has 10 things that you need to know about racism and white privilege right now. And Lena Dunham is jerking you off on the couch until you can't can't even. The future is here and white people are pissed. Debates about race saturate your latest iOS and everyone is so sick of seeing it. And in this future, Tony Hawk is writing disappointing hoverboards, skitching on the backs of texts that police accidentally drive through your living rooms while texting, we're here for your protection. And in this future, Indians in suits are reading you poetry that was dictated to a tiny computer kept in the breast pocket. And in this future, Future, the iPad has replaced your lover. She tells you how good you could look if you just quit being so goddamn ugly. And when you're alone together, he's gonna show you the best sex you're never gonna have while lulling your children to sleep because you need some solitude to check the best timelines and retweet your favorite vine of a father of two being choked to death in a square video loop that lasts as long as you let it. Admit
admit it, you love to see those bullets striking, piercing the dark skin again and again. And I wish I was thin, but who has the time? And these GMOs are killing our children with their vaccines made of aborted fetuses. Jesus, is there no end to this? 1,000 likes equals one prayer for the anti-Muslim American God. And if you share this status, I guarantee you Mark Zuckerberg will save you some leftovers from last night's dinner. But remember, you're still that one special winner. Thank you.